Hi everyone, it's Maria from Blue Rain Orchid and I'm going to do a reading for you guys today. I kind of switched up the days and I'm going to do a little bit something different and we're just going to have some fun today, okay? So I have the, I think this is called the Messenger's Deck. So I've got the Messenger's Deck, I've already um, shuffled through it. I'll spread it out in just a second um, and we'll pull three cards and we'll do your reading like that today. Okay, so this reading is for Friday the 18th of November through the, what is it, the 25th? Yeah, Black Friday, Friday the 25th. A week-long reading, and I'm sorry I haven't been keeping up with the weekly readings. It's been kind of crazy. I'm searching for your cards. Spirits, please guide me to the proper cards. For anyone who is watching this video, this one, and um, this one, and let's see, which other one do we need? This one. Okay, so let me get these all out of the way. I'm going to make a big mess over here in the corner. So I have three readings for you, three cards for you, okay? And I've also got my Mexican Loteria deck. I'm gonna pull a card from here for you too for um, Thanksgiving week, special bonus kind of thing, okay? So here you have your three cards. Choose one, two, or three. I'll be quiet so you can choose. All right. For card number one, if you chose card number one, we have let go of the old. So I want to take a look at this peacock for just a second. Let's see if I can move him out of where the window gives me that glare. Here we go. Okay. This peacock has some gold leaves with like some pearlescent colors in it. And then he's got his normal regular peacock color leaves. So where we have let go of the old we can either decide that the gold is the old or this old idea one is the old but he's letting go of one or the other and he's changing from what i can see right here is i'm thinking he's changing into gold because if we look right here we can see that some of these normal peacock leaves are turning gold and here we can see two behind his behind his head dress feathers and in here too so he's letting go of his old stuff he's letting go of his past he's letting go sorry on all of that kind of stuff and he's becoming enlightened he's becoming new he's becoming royal in a way because he's like pure golden hour he's going to be pure gold in a little while and um this is what we have to do in order to enlighten, in order to become our better selves. We have to let go of stuff. We have to let go of old ideas. We have to let go of old um, issues, old complications, old arguments, all of this kind of stuff. If we hold on to the old, we cannot change. And that means we can't change for the better. Okay? So card number two. Here is our card number two know you belong all right so let me zoom in a little bit this little i'm going to call him a cat guy although he's got some wings and the wings are kind of strange looking wings they've got like a bat kind of feel to me i'm not sure what you're thinking of but there's also like butterfly feeling here okay and then there's like little pearls on it so he's got some wings he's got scales here in his tail He's got a little third eye design. He's got some strange little scale stuff around his eyes. He is one weird looking cat, right? He is kind of weird. And then when we think about like a cat, most of the time we think of house cats and he's not in anything that to me looks like it's domesticated. He looks like he's wild. These ferns here in the back with this tree and the little ferns here in the front, it gives me a wild feeling. It's not like your backyard garden or the park or something, you know? So even though he is wild, even though he is different, he still belongs. And so do you. 
no matter how different you are, you still belong. There's still things you can offer to this world and there's still people who need you. You always belong. All right. Okay. Card number three. Card number three is embrace your spirit. Let me zoom in here for you. The eagle represents free spirit. It represents being able to fly free. It represents not being caged. Royalty. Um, it's, it's the animal, our mascot, our animal for the United States. Because it's royal. Because it's huge. It's majestic. It is free. Okay, now when we embrace our spirit, we also need to be free and know that we are royalty. I know a lot of people, and I'm not going to get really deep into religion, but there's, um, you are the child of God. You are royalty. You are a prince or a princess because you are God, the king's daughter or son. Um, you are stardust. You are the cosmos. You are what make up the world and everything in the world and everything around the world and everything in outer space. You are so important. All right? So no matter what your spiritual path is, that is extremely important. And when we embrace it, we are royalty. We are majestic. We are important. We are so amazing. And... I'm just going to come into the other cards really quickly, okay? Know that you belong because no matter who you are, no matter what you are, no matter how you feel, there is a spiritual place for you, all right? There is a spiritual group for you. You might not find your tribe yet. You might not find your group yet, but there is one there waiting for you. You just need to start looking if you haven't found it yet, but you will belong, and oftentimes, we need to let go of our past, of our old ideas on religion, on spirituality, on who we're supposed to be in order to embrace who we are. All right? So here is your reading for this week. And I just want to say, because Thanksgiving is coming up, I am so very grateful to all of you who watch my videos to those of you who've reached out by email or um, who have left comments and have come onto Facebook and have chatted with me and have talked to me, I am so grateful for all of my clients. I'm so grateful for all of the friends I've met through this um, Blue Rain Orchid. So thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart for everybody who's watching this video right now and everybody who's watched the previous videos and everyone who will watch the videos and have contacted me and have become clients, have become friends, have become soul sisters, all of this wonderful stuff, okay? So now I've shuffled our Mexican Loteria. I'm going to pull only one card for this week, okay? And our card is 24 El Cotoro. The little sing song that comes along with the Mexican game is, um, give me one second. Cotoro, Taca, La Placa y Empieza Me. I think that's how it goes. The translation is, hey, just stop and come and sit down and chat with me. Just stop here and sit here and talk to me. When we use this card for fortune telling, there's a few options that we could have. One would be stop talking and listen. One would be quit with everything that you're doing and spend some time with people. Spend some time with your loved ones. And this one is really hitting me this because of like on Thursday next week when we have um, when we have our Thanksgiving. Don't be in a rush to have like the perfect turkey or the perfect roast or your perfect meal and the per for your perfect holiday. Actually spend time and connect with people who are with you. Spend time and talk to the people who are with you. Make connections because when when you're gone or when your mom is gone or when your grandpa is gone or somebody in your family is gone someone who you're spending time with is gone you're not going to or they're not going to say hey i remember mom's turkey was the best turkey although they will remember your turkey is the best turkey but they're gonna go remember that thanksgiving where 
where like the turkey burned because we were just on the floor in hysterical laughter because mom was knocking out these jokes left and right? Or do you remember that important conversation that we had with grandpa when he told us about his childhood or, you know, it's that kind of stuff. It's our communication. It's our talking that, um, it's our interacting with others that make important memories. And because the holidays are coming up, I think this card, El Cotoro, the parrot, is trying to remind us that it's t spending time with people, not what you're giving them, not what you're cooking for them, not the day that it is. It's the time that you spend with them that they will remember and that connects, makes the most connections. The other option we have with this card, and I'm just going to throw this one out here because I feel like somebody does need to hear this one, is pay attention not only to what other people are saying but to what you're saying also the parrot will repeat itself sorry right so you're like hey polly want a cracker and polly will go polly want a cracker what are you repeating what are other people repeating to you and what kind of energy does that have you don't want to be involved in gossip that can hurt people you don't want to be involved in gossip that has really no point of advancing anything. So don't parrot that stuff back out and limit what you're listening on that because there's a lot of negative energy that's in that. But taking the, the positive idea of this card and putting it with these three, we can have wonderful conversations with our family and friends because that's where we belong. But just because our family and friends have some old idea that doesn't fit us anymore, that's not going to let us become spiritually free, does not mean that we have to agree with them on everything that they do. We have people we belong to, we have people we belong with, but we don't have to blindly follow what they believe in order to let ourselves be free, okay? So if this reading was of value to you, please like, share, comment, um, follow me on Facebook. It's facebook.com slash Blue Rain Orchid, all one word. Um, the website is bluerainorchid.com. There are readings there. Most of the readings that are there are no tool readings, but you can, I'm going to put up like a three card reading in a little while. And I might try to get in a sample of some other kinds of readings in a little bit too. But um, again, thank you so, so much. Love you guys. Bye.